Hokies. Coach, this was two different halves. The third quarter, a totally different deal. As you step back and evaluate, where what are you feeling? What are you taking away? Well, you know, Andrew, that, that was all a precursor to uh, I got a book coming out. And it's all about my halftime speeches. <laughs> <laughs> You, you know, you know I, I can look at it. That was a joke. All right, was a joke. <laughs> um, I, I can look I at like it, it. A, lot, a lot of different ways. All right, a lot of different ways. You know, you, you can say, you know, give credit to Maryland Eastern Shore because they made us do certain things. Uh, you can say that we came out, we, we lacked focus. Uh, you can say a lot of different things, you know. But our margin of error um, is not that, it's not that large. And uh, we, we've got to come out, and we have people in certain positions that, that really kind of make us go and do certain things. And, uh, and, and one, of those, one of those people is Jeanette Hicks. Uh, Shanette, you know, I think you and I had a long conversation earlier, and I just talked to her about her play, and particularly this week. And uh, you know, she's got a lot going on, you know, and she's she's uh, bearing down academically. She's got a lot of projects through this week. You know, we've actually held her out you know, of, of some of our practices to make sure that she's uh, able to to meet with professors and so on and so forth. And those are some of the, some of the things that you know, the rest of the world aren't privy to that information, sure. you know, just because, you know, they, they are student athletes and especially when we get down to crunch time and they have projects to do and whatnot. Uh, and she, she really hasn't, since the, uh, since the uh, Illinois game, she really hasn't been that Shinnick Hicks that's been, you know, uber focused for us. And, you know, and it's not, not because of anything other than she's just got a lot on her plate right sure. now. Uh, she came out today and, you know, got a, a, a silly foul to start with. She doubled down and we don't double down. And, uh, she picked up a foul, and okay, and then she got frustration foul by missing a layup, and she reached in, and you know, uh, a minute and a half into the game, she's on the bench, and uh, and and just knowing Shanette and mind of her relationship, I, I didn't feel good about putting her back in the game uh, in the in the half because I felt like that she may get another one, you know, because it just wasn't. They were two uncharacteristic fouls, and so you, you leave her out, and then we're disjointed. We're disjointed, and 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 they they made us do some things, and we could never get going. Uh, they made some tough shots, yeah. uh, made some tough shots, and uh, they actually even banked in a three, I think it was. <laughs> and uh, a lot of things are going their way. And then we went in at halftime, and I would love to say it was the halftime speech, but it was just a matter of getting our kids in the right places, and uh, and we got up and down. I think immediately. We scored a couple points, so they called a timeout very quickly, and we just kept it kept snowballing from there. But it, we're a work in progress. Uh, we, we're continuing to get better, to to get familiar with each other, get familiar with our their current roles. Uh, it's a hard game to play just because of the timing. Uh, but but I, I think you know again, you know, you look at it and uh, on paper it looks like we dominated uh, the basketball game. But uh, we did some good things. But we we've got to get better, and uh, and and particularly. What I found out today is that we got to get better in executing when Shanette's not in the game because I felt like we couldn't run any plays uh, tonight because they just really got into Asia Shepard. We put um, Kayla Kinder uh, at the point guard position in the last part of the half, and we were able to separate ourselves just a little bit. All right, so I want to get back into that in a second, but you talked about work in progress and figuring out who you are and depth players having big games, and you had a depth player with a big game tonight, Michelle Barry. She played great. Uh, she played great. You know, we, we got to get Rachel camp going and, and Rachel I think is just over analyzing so much right now and I think she's it's a combination of shaking off some rust but also just over analyzing situations and, and again because of the uh, the nature of, of our team and uh, with Alexis Jean out we've had to put Rachel now into four spots it's not her natural position uh, but I thought Michelle you know, I think this is probably the third game in a row, uh, maybe even more, that Michelle has played a lot more comfortable uh, rebounding the basketball, uh, going in. And uh, she's hit a couple threes. Some of oh, I think one of them was an ill-advised shot, uh, but she knocked it down. Good for her. Uh, <laughs> and Because uh, <laughs> there could have been some consequences. But we're, we're, we're just trying to figure each other out. But I was very proud of Michelle. I'm very happy for Michelle because, you know, she's wanted this for a very long time, and uh, now she's starting to feel like more and more comfortable. And, you know, I, I look like a prophet because last year I told her, I said, look, you have to you have to treat practices like your game because you're going to come out there, and if you don't do so, you're going to be rusty in the beginning. And, you know, she's even alluded to it, uh, but she understands that, okay, I didn't take advantage of the situation like I really wanted to, but now no, I'm starting to get comfortable and I'm happy for it. All right, so where is, to go back to the other thing we were talking about, where is your head at this moment of figuring out offense without Jeanette Hicks on the floor? I'm sure you're throwing a lot of things at the whiteboard, but – 
what is getting put together on that puzzle right well, now? Well, I'm still trying to figure out offense with Shanae Hicks on the floor. Uh, also we're, fine. Yeah, <laughs> we're, 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 you, you watch us, and, uh, you know, we, we rely more on our emotion. And, uh, you know, sometimes I know it looks like a handoff thing. You know, we're trying to work on that as well. Uh, but w when we can get that ball in the lane and we can kick to play inside to play out, uh, I think the third quarter we exploded. I think we had seven three-pointers, someone told me, in the uh, in the third quarter. We're, we're that tight basketball team. You know, if we get the basketball and we get our offense moving from side to side uh, where we can take advantage of some breakdowns, we're good. But when we try to go off the dribble off of one pass, we're not as good. You know, we don't have those kind of creators. You know, pretty much Shanette's our only creator who can create her own shot. Everything else has to be uh, because we move the ball from side to side. Then Taylor Emery's getting, you know, good looks. And Kendall Brooks is getting good looks. Asia Shepard, you know, Reagan McGarity, you know. I was re we were really we were really uh, upset with the group uh, in the first half because I think up until late in the second quarter, Reagan only had one shot attempt. You know, and we have to get her the basketball, get her involved, and they have to understand that they have to understand the flow of the game. Even though it's a little bit helter skelter, and we didn't have our, our normal pieces out there, uh, we still have to be aware, you know, of Reagan's touches, and uh, because we're going to go as Reagan uh, takes us. All right, last question for you. Tricky swing coming up. Chattanooga is a yeah. good team. Monmouth on the road, both on the road in Tennessee, in New Jersey, Sunday, Tuesday. Quick turnaround. What's your focus for this group? Well, it's a necessary evil. Uh, you know, you, you want you want to beef up your schedule a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know how much, you know, the section committee or anybody looks at the RPI. But, you know, you get a big RPI boost when you can go on the road and get a win against a quality team. And that's what Chattanooga is. You know, they, they started off a little bit slow. They lost to uh, – UCF by one. Then they went on a string where they beat four BCS programs in a row. I think it was Georgetown, Northwestern. Uh, I think Auburn was Auburn, in the mix. Auburn was one. Indiana was the other. And uh, so they, they've had a good stretch, and, they, and they're playing extremely well. And they play extremely well at home. Uh, very well coached. Uh, they know what they want to do. Uh, it's going to be a tremendous test for us, and we're going to have to come out and, uh, and be really focused right from the beginning. So that's going to be a, that's going to be a, a very challenging game. Uh, but it also gives us an opportunity. We're going to leave on Saturday. I think we come back on Tuesday night. Uh, but it gives us an opportunity to to bond, you know, to bond. And, you know, we, we love Blacksburg. And you love playing in front of your home fans. Uh, and, and speaking of our home fans, kudos to the to the people who stayed who stayed around. I know it's very unorthodox. Uh, I'm not a fan of it. Uh, the double headers, uh, especially when we have to play at 830. Yeah. Uh, puts, a lot of, puts a lot of pressure on our fan base. But uh, for the ones who stayed, I really appreciate it because a situation like this, Andrew, um, I, I am I am all about my girls. I'm all about my girls. I know how hard they work, and they deserve to be able to come out and uh, and their fans play in front of their home fans. And uh, as we build this thing, you know, the f the fans are what's going to help make this program. And uh, you know, I know it's playing at 8:30. It's not ideal uh, playing a doubleheader, and those are kind of things that you know, as as I work through and get because I I think my tenure in 14 years uh, as being a head coach, I think uh, I only I only did it um, I think maybe three or four times. You know, and it uh, puts a lot of pressure on our, on our fan base. But I thought they did a really good job of staying around. And, you know, even though it was ugly in the first half, they even stuck, stuck around to the second half uh, of the game. So I really appreciate that. Kudos to them. Uh, but, you know, get on the road uh, with this swing and playing two quality teams. Uh, it's going to help us bond with each other. Uh, and I think it's going to be a, uh, something that we have to do in order for us to be to get – to get game tough, to get road tough, so that when we go on the road and the ACC that, you know, we're going to be battle-tested. Coach, appreciate your time. Thank you very much, Andrew. That's 28 wins in a year and a half for you, by the way, so you talk about building it. Pretty good numbers right there as well. We're, we're, we're on the way. We're on the way. We've got a lot of, a lot of exciting things going on, uh, you know, uh, right now. And then so much so much excitement. It makes a, makes a coach want to do a happy dance in his office. So, <laughs> <laughs> and so it's really good. Knock yourself out when you get back there. <laughs> yeah. Final score, 90-52. <laughs> Virginia Tech gets the win over Maryland Eastern Shore.